Welcome. Welcome to our just pause practice. And truly, that is all this is about, right? What we do with that pause or how we allow that pause to plant new seeds as we move forward in today, that is secondary to just giving ourselves permission to be in this moment. Now I'm going to share with you something I've shared prior to today and other settings, but given our study of James Nestor's book, Breath, I wanted to meditate in these few moments together for just pause on the reading or the scripture that is at the very beginning of his book. This comes from the Zhu dynasty. So as we land in this moment and we Give ourselves permission to open our ears and open our heart and open our mind, knowing that perhaps understanding isn't part of our journey today, but can we be with the words, the intentions, and maybe even allow them to ebb and shift, to work their way into our compassion our relationship with what is in this moment of just pause. In transporting the breath, the inhalation must be full. Can you feel that fullness in this pause? When the breath is full, it has big capacity. What is your capacity now in this moment? When we know our capacity, when we recognize the edges and the limits of our breath capacity, it can be extended. Can you extend your breath capacity? Extended in terms of increasing volume, extended in terms of time, extended in terms of pause in the fullness or in the emptiness. Using your capacity as the guide, can you extend your awareness and observation of your breath? When the breath is extended, it can penetrate downward, downward into the belly, downward into the pelvic floor, downward into the ground of stability, of life force energy, of a sense of safety and security, maybe even the Mula Dara Chakra, your root chakra. Can you extend your breath to deepen your relationship with stability, with safety, with presence in this now? When the breath penetrates downward, it will become calmly settled. As your breath becomes more familiar, as this pause becomes more present, tangible, can the breath itself 
settle as well. The breath as the doorway of the mind and the body. The muscles soften, the bones stack. The mind deepens its focus on this moment rather than the thoughts of what's to come or what has passed. Support and enable the breath to just settle into an easy rhythm, a sweetness, a sukha. When the breath calmly settles, it'll be strong and firm. Strong and firm might simply mean accessible, sustainable, enough. It doesn't have to mean an efforting place. In fact, the more that we tickle the edge of effort, the broader our capacity for that middle way, that sustained calm breath as enough. This strong and firm settling of our breath will germinate. The seed will break forth and this breath will let our life itself begin to grow and bloom, to extend beyond that which we're aware of, to extend beyond this moment. And when the breath germinates, it grows. It grows internally in its volume, in its length, in its suppleness, in its power. But it also grows in terms of how we share that breath. Others start to feel the energy of the life force that moves through us. Literally breathing for another when perhaps their breath is shallow or challenging or simply unaware. When we plant the breath as a seed in this calm abiding space, nurture it with our attention and the intention of our mind and our body, it will grow. Maybe so subtly at first, much like a seed planted in the ground, we can't see the germination. We can't witness the micro changes until that seed sprouts through the earth and we see the first glimmers of the sprout. We have to stay with the practice long enough to see that sprout break through and trust in the waiting. As the breath grows, it will retreat upward. Just like this visual of the plant planted, the seed planted in the ground, the sprout will rise upward toward the light, toward the sun, toward the source of its energy. We too grow towards the source of our energy which is why it's so important to get clear about what matters most. We wanna lean into that life-giving energy. As we do that leaning in, we grow stronger still. As we retreat upward with this breath, it will reach the top of the head. The next barrier perhaps to break free to break through, to bloom open. This Sahasara Chakra at the crown of our head translates to the thousand lotus petal, a blooming forth connecting our body with the divinity that lives beyond this physical form. 
When the breath retreats upward, think of that kundalini rising, that traveling up the sashuma channels. It reaches the top of the head. And when we can abide in this, we might bear witness to that blooming open of the sahashara, thousand petal lotus. The secret power of providence moves above. The secret power of the earth moves below. The breath unites us to the earth and to the divine, the body and the mind. In transporting the breath, the inhalation must be full. When it is full, it has big capacity. When it has big capacity, it can be extended. When it is extended, it can penetrate downward. When it penetrates downward, it will become calmly settled. When it is calmly settled, it will be strong and firm. When it is strong and firm, it will germinate. When it germinates, it will grow. When it grows, it will retreat upward. When it retreats upward, it will reach the top of the head. The power of providence moves above. The secret power of the earth moves below. The one who follows this will live. The one who acts against this will die. In other words, those who practice the breath will live. And the depth to which you practice your breath will reflect the depth of your aliveness, your connection to prana, to inspiration, to happiness and joy. Practice builds the capacity, builds the intimacy, and builds the relationship of compassion, of trust, of counting on this energy. No matter your capacity today, through practice, you will enhance your capacity and reap the benefits of the breath and the practice itself. to release this pause, to embrace what's next. Let's close with a bow and a blessing. May you breathe deeply and move freely. May you labor lovingly so you may live vibrantly and intimately with prana to know the joy of happiness, of gratitude, of love. Namaste. Thanks for letting me share that interpretation and elaboration of the Zhao Dynasty's quote. <laughs>